Good morning, welcome to Battle Creek, Michigan. We're at the Kimball Pines uh, County Park. Today we have members of the North Country Trail Association and the Calhoun County Parks and uh, Recreation Department. Uh, today we're gonna look at the Brush Rovers. Uh, we have two models from Warwick, uh, the two-wheel drive version and the four-wheel drive version. Since 1994, we've had the two-wheel drive version. This year, we're introducing the four-wheel drive version. Both have a knockdown bar, so uh, versus a walk behind, uh, whether it's a rotary cutter or it's a flail mower, uh, what you have with the brush rovers is speed. So if you can knock it down, you can mulch it up. This is an all-wheel drive system. Um, what that means is the rear tires are doing all the work until it senses the demand. So if you're going up a slope or you're stuck in a swamp or something, uh, once it feels the load, then it sends the fluid to the front and then, that, then it becomes four-wheel drive. So it's, a, it's an on-demand system. Okay, so foot on the brake, pull up the choke, turn your key, push your choke back in, feather it up. Once you're on the machine, and since I'm already sitting on a wet seat, uh, both machines have a locking rear differential. And what that means is if you get stuck in, in uh, a particularly swampy area or uh, maybe there's a log out there that you didn't see and, and you need to climb off of it, um, you can lock the rear differentials. What that, what that means is both of your rear wheels are going to move in place. Uh, so they'll be locked together. That'll give you some power to get out of uh, whatever pre pre predicament you might have gotten into. Both machines, once you've got the machine started and you're throttled up, everything then is in this lever. So forward and reverse, it's all hydrostatic. So you can feather how fast you go, how slow you go, and then you can reverse as well with the same lever. On this side, this is where you control everything again on both models your cutting height is adjusted here and then to engage the flails is this red lever here and once you're going um, another thing that uh, I would let everyone know and is you cannot restart the machine if your flail blade is down okay so you have to re set it back to uh, the highest point. And you'll also wanna make sure when you're trying to start it that it's not right there, is it will not start. And believe me, I happens to me every time. <laughs> Why won't it start? So you just go through your, your routine and, and just remember that, oh yeah, he did say to put it all the way back up. So hey, let's go test it out. Today I had the honor of jumping on the rover. It's just astonishing how much and how clear that it cut and how fast it, the job was done. And I can't wait to see more. I, first I drove the rover, which is a phenomenal machine. I really enjoyed it. It was a, a fun machine to use, really. It took me anywhere I wanted to go and cut anything I was willing to drive it into. 